Hello there, Jixxer here, and tonight we will be playing Shadow of Murder, actually the episode 13. Oh my, this is gorgeous. I never realized that Mordor could be this beautiful. As the new map, I never seen it in the in the original one, but I've done pretty much my homework. I reforged the bow completely, even though it didn't give me anything extra. So I don't know. Maybe it will do more damage, but there was no notification on that. Only the the Calabrimbor was just pleased that I did it all. I couldn't finish the Urfile or the Akarn, the dagger, because as you can see here, some of the uh, some of the missions are still locked, as I didn't unlock unlock the abilities I need. And I I have a feeling that in this ability I will unlock how to hunt growls and carabors. So I'll be able to parry carabors and sneak attack growls or graux. Uh, hunting challenge 7. Let's kill one grog. And I was saying maybe I will just achieve it by doing the big game with the dwarf because we will be hunting together. So before I will be charging into any grog blindly, it will be better if I will actually gain the ability to kill it quickly. Survival challenge number nine is collecting Attila's, which was the which was the herb that Aragorn was using both in the book and in the movie to save Frodo or at least delay the poison of Black Dagger. And there, another another mission for the dagger is called Knife in the Dark, which is funny because Knife in the Dark is a chapter of Lord of the Ring Fellowship of the Ring book, one of those. So. Anyway, that being said, I will be going for this mission, right, to do hunt with the dwarf. And I will wait for the Queen of the Shore to later. I've done 12 out of 20 story missions, so I'm halfway through. And I've done a lot of side quests and that sort of stuff, so... I might be about 60% completion of the game. Maybe even more, like 70. Alright. Always orcs trying to stand in my way. I'll just... I'll just skip this and we'll go. I don't even need experience anymore because I have maxed everything I could. But this dwarf climbs to know the location of more artifacts from Calabrimbor's past. So I guess we'll be hunting the... Yeah, the cat goes first. Should hear me. It's a clean kill. And none of them is going to go to waste. Hmm. She's a good hunter. Italian. A warrior. A lieutenant. No, that's here. He's a captain. My mistake! We have a captain in our midst! Well, <laughs> I like this. I like this dwarf. I like him swords, eh? even more than Redback. Sure I like Redback. Nice <laughs> <laughs> He's making fun of him. But Talon kind of deserve, oh, deserves it because tell me. he was a dick. Come. Have you ever hunted a growl? Ha! Huh. A growl has what you promised me. Aye. I like the dwarf face. He's funny, but the way he looks, the, the way he talks, he's just... He's dangerous, and he, he's... He's so fucking ripe up. Basics on the hunt. You love how he is. Follow me. 
he's mixing that mot motivational speaks with jokes and all of a sudden he's just so quiet and give you, give you a serious glare. One you must learn to tame. First lesson of Karagor hunting. Do not Th That's a good lesson. Do we need I would like to stick to that. We ride him. A worthy mount for a dangerous hunt. Now these beasts will not be impressed by your rank. All flesh tastes the same to them. Once you go on the hunt, Captain, you'll come out a changed man. Hopefully for the better, but you never know. When I was hunting wargs, I picked up their ways quickly. But Cargos, well, those bastards are a tougher breed. Took me nearly a year to figure them out. Cargos. Buggers hate water. I once tried uh -huh. to ride one through a river. You to know. tailed it up a cliffside with me on its back. Amazing what they'll do to avoid a good cleaning, eh? So... The hunt is my I didn't, I didn't notice that, but I, I gotta try it. Really? I gotta try to hide in the water. Now that there is a like lot of water to... Hide around. No, for example, about this river. Hunt, the very air smells different. Like triumph. Ranger, over here! Oh, I missed the Atalas. That one over there looks quite aggressive. Don't even try creeping up on a caragor. It'll catch your scent a mile away. Yeah, I figured it out. Them. When you hop in and introduce yourself, ask it for a ride. You can do that. You've gained ability to counter Caragor's sleep attack, which will also stun the beast. So. That's cool. When a caragor charges, you have two options. Not the bastard, not the bastard. Oh, fuck you. If the Karagor draws blood, you're doing it right. Alright. So now it will charge. I'll be able to parry. Now I can either kill him or mount him. Stats handy. I would have wanted this from the very beginning. But how I how is a dwarf riding the Karagors? I'm using mind control trick from Kelebrimbor. Look at this. Oh, he's just... He's just doing the same thing, so everyone has right powers now. It's almost like they wanted to add multiplayer. That would be... that would be sweet. Like, if you could play this with a friend, and the friend would be always transformed into the dwarf or one of the side characters. And same for you. What was this game, I think? The shooter game, I don't know which one, I don't really remember, but whenever you were playing, you, you saw yourself and your friends as some sort of American or United States. United States soldiers, while opposite, opposite team was always the sort of Islamic warriors or something like this. You know, the typical terrorist. My point was, it was weird if uh, like, you could, you could just add this cooperation like Saints Row did. For Alright, Dwarf is singing now. Man, I can't think where a beast is tearing something to pieces. That's that's creepy, dude. 
and saw a crown of stars appear. Oh, wait, 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 we are doing... This is a competition. I want to win the competition. But what if I... I think I will just make it... Even. Eight versus eight. Wait, what are you doing? This is one for the archer. Seriously? Alright, so I, I will have to shoot one more, right? Several more. No. No, no, buddy. Sorry, but those are mine. Those dudes are mine. So, 11 versus 10. If, if they would add some sort of cooperation to this. Like, you would be always seeing yourself as Talion or whatever skin you chose. And seeing the other other one as Dwarf. Or something like that. And vice versa. It would be sweet. While well, not actually ruining the... Immersion. Training yourself to see the perfect moment. Rather than being told it. Right. I'm gonna try something. I'm gonna upgrade because oh wait I, I still can't. Oh, I don't even need ability points for this. He just hands it to me instantly. That's sweet, but what I need ability points for then? Eagle back to her nest. I decided to let them be. Even before they toss me into the rocks below. <laughs> Kill more Uruks than Torvin. Oh, it's bonus objective. So it's not like if I let him, he will say something like, I let him. Oh, I didn't know that! What do you think that if I... That if I just... If my cargo is biting something on the ground, I can't do anything. I can! I can just smash around with my sword. That would be handy, like... That would have been handy. Some time around. Beginning when I was... No! Come on! Your cargo was killed. Hint, biting enemies restore some of health of the cargo. Watch out for archers. Fuck you! This is stupid. Anyway. Now... This is getting weird, seriously. Alright. Running short on lessons? Running long on lip? You'll need to think on your feet. Hmm. We face the ground, can't always look to me for help. <laughs> the hunt is about well, he's actually work. badass. Training Edward is actually good because he might, he might sound cocky, but whatever he does, he stands up for it. Like he saved me back there with the ghouls. Like by the game mechanic, I would get out of the nest myself, but, but by the common, common sense of mechanic, Talion was surrounded. And the dwarf actually did save him. Whatever. I have a lot of sparrows. I can do what the hell I want with those. I didn't get him I didn't give him a slightest chance this time. I have more than a double on his score. Something wrong with your blade! You missed one! Stop him before he gets reinforcements! What the hell? Stop the runner. It's going to be easy. Because 
Torben is too quiet. Something must be wrong. Go to him, Talion. Perhaps <laughs> we should track the hunter. You'll make a nice meal, dwarf! Torben needs help. Just so you know, I had it. <laughs> yeah. What does riding categories have to do with killing grubs? All these questions, Captain. Not you were supposed to follow orders. Testing <laughs> my patience, Torben. Pay attention. Not to respect the beast. Need size and strength to fight a mighty grog. Where is my? As it's snorting. This dwarf is far from home. <laughs> Not all those who wander are lost. Yeah, I've heard that before. Not all that's shiny is gold, right? Or no, no, no gold is shiny. I don't even know. I don't know the lyrics in English. Anyway, there is the. There's the next one. So. I will go for the next one because I want those perks. I want to be able to kill any beast I find without fearing for my life. Like I have been killed by stupid Karagor before because they just stormed. They just stormed me while I was trying to fight Uruks. And they killed everyone. They killed Uruks, they killed slaves, they killed me, they killed everything because they were like shit ton of them. Anyway, hunting partners. Scars did you get from the Black Gate, eh? Splinters! <laughs> oh, or did you uh, scar your voice telling your soldiers to head into battle? Tread lightly. My scars run very deep. <laughs> the mighty Grog. You give me these. And he also took my hunting partner. So, what now? Well, another lesson for you, my captain. <clears throat> Maybe you'll even come out of this one on Scar. <laughs> so, what backward lesson do you have planned this time, eh? Shooting Grabane to prepare us for the mighty Grog? You want to hunt Grog? So you shall. But not just any Grog. Yeah, you already said that. This is a rare one. It's territorial. Strong enough to claim land as its own. And you and me, we're trespassing. Tell me, Captain, you ever slay a grog before? Yep. Today will be the first of many. Now you're talking like a hunter. I slot a grog before. You may survive this, Captain. Well, since that's the largest part of you, I like those odds. So I assume you have a plan to kill this grog. I do, Captain. And since you're so good at taking orders, I'll tell you how, step by step. Step one, when he's crunching on an Uruk, sneak up behind the giant beast and bleed the bastard's ankle. But why not his throat? There is one place Graugs aren't covered in spiky scales. They don't call a weakness a Graugs heel for nothing. You want me to sidle up to this beast? If you can manage it without being crushed, yes. Nice music. There it goes. What a fine, fine specimen. And it'll meet a fine end. I'll sneak up behind and over the Grog and press to bleed it. Bleeding the Grog will cause massive damage and attract Karagors. Oh. So I, I see now why I need the Karagors because when it will attract Karagors indeed, I'll be able to. No, 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 no. He'll see me, right? What he want? I've got to pierce its ankle if I want to bleed it. Screw you. 
Mission file, you were detected. Well, fuck you, how was I? There it goes! What a fine, fine specimen. And it'll meet a fine end. He detected me again. There it goes. What yeah, we've I already heard it like ten million times. Shut up, Torvin. So what about here? Just hide in this bush. I'll oh, wait. The ankle cap. We discussed this. You know, if you will be shouting. I have chances he will know that there is someone. Can I do that again? No. Screw this then. Hunt Grog. Hunt Grogs are rare and they grow 20 feet in height. Few of those monsters currently exist in wild and fewer still roam freely in Mordor. They are feared above all others beasts in Mordor for their size, brute strength and ferocity. Bringing one of these giants down requires supreme effort. If you need it, this is possible at all. I killed few of these guys. I know it is possible. I don't even, you don't even need these sneaky tricks. As they are extraordinarily hardy and resistant to all manner of weapons, their might enables them to claim Mordor's dank, fetid caves as lairs, and they defend these with a single-mindedly vicious fury. All right. Step that was the blood will attack categories. Jump on one before she jumps on you. Your speed will now match the ground. Scared to chase you? I'll be waiting. That will be quite a ride. So he's still. So no, but I need. I need to jump on one of these. Oh, fuck you, Caragor. Come on, dodge this. Let him charge. No, charge. Charge me. Come on. Just what are you doing, guys? This. This is what I need. Alright. Sounds easy enough. Shooting him and the freaking hat. Nothing, literally nothing is happening. I need to. Oh, I need to lure him first. That sucks. I've got to I'll just lead wait this here. To there he goes. <laughs> there he stunned. Ability unlocked. Graug Hunter, finally! You've got ability to mount the Stunned Graug. I probably Stunned Graug, press to mount it. You can also mount the Stunned Graug from above. So I need to stun him. I'll be able to mount him. I'll be able to ride in the Graugs now. That's going to be... Okay, hold this. Do this. This reminds me of Prince of Persia. The last one, what was it called? Two drones. He's mine now. <laughs> Are you serious? Gregs attack enemies in area. They can also grab and eat Ooks to regain health. And it suddenly turned into giants. Give me. Come on, eat. 
you. Eat him. Go on. Nom nom nom. Look at my Karagor. He's still fighting. He's adorable. But that's it. Monos objective. Kill the Uruks with the Grog. Alright. Your life ends with the sting of my blade. I'll mount it to use Kill the Grog. And that's it. And I also did the hunting challenge, which is which is sweet. of Mordor doesn't seem to touch that dwarf. The Seven Rings of Power did not turn the dwarf kings to wraiths, as the Nine Rings did to man. They are as stubborn as stone and cannot be dominated by evil. That is why Sauron has sworn to destroy them. Hmm, makes sense. But what now? I can do the Dagger of Akarn. And what do we have here? We have uh, another. Turvin is ready to face his past. Alright. Kill Dire Karagor. Alright, I have a feeling that we'll have something to do with the dwarf. But since I'm this close, I'm going to do the Queen mission. How long have I been recording? I don't even know. And after that one, I will end the video and we will continue with the dwarf in the next episode I guess that's 14 out of 12 this will be 15 15 what are you doing just go screw that discover what Queen Marvel knows of the power of the wraith but I still, I still don't have the chisel. Thank you. I found the mithril hammer. Can your flames? Show me why my soul was denied death. <laughs> Suddenly has the black eyes. You are the victim of a blood sacrifice. Can the curse be broken? Destroy the black hand. And his followers, and claim Mordor. No men of Gondor will come to my head. <laughs> you don't need them. Your power begets followers, willing or otherwise. Do I do this? That's leaving the minds of the orc doesn't seem right for a ranger. It's almost like he's slowly turning into something like Sauron or Saruman. I'm actually curious how this game ends. 
because the story is so far. Is <laughs> the story is so far good. I must must say this one. Make haste to the sea fort while avoiding detection. All right, you can do this. So there are no Uruks anywhere. Nobody who could detect me. Not if I take higher ground. So can I go through here? Perhaps no. So I have 40 seconds, 400 feet. And these will see me. Alright. Jump over this. And speed. Hide. There is a patrol be. Beneath me. There we go. Look, soldiers! I haven't met these guys before. It is not them I seek, but what they carry. I will save them nonetheless. Don't be blinded by your emotions. Shut up, Calibrimbor! You don't be blinded by your emotions. Like, you know, forging the rings of power. Army lie within this fortress. If we brand those archers, we can build our army and save these men at the same time. Ability unlocked, but I'm unlocking all the abilities now. But why now? It's almost the end of the game, if I'm not mistaken. It's like they're building so I will have all the abilities for the one final mission, and that's it. I know this is the sandbox game, and uh, you will be able to play it as a sandbox as long as you want to, but once the story is over, nothing will actually keep you there. Uh, that's the problem with the sandbox game, unless they are Skyrim, I guess. When you drain enemies, you will now also upplay your brand. Causing them to become your followers. To brand enemies, hold, blah blah, styled, blah blah, combat, blah blah. I know that. I already know that. Brand them. It will be overly easy. Fuck this shit. Really? Queen told us our answers yeah. to building an orc army lie within this fortress. If we burn those archers, we can build our army and save these men at the same time. So orc army, so we, it will be orcs versus skurruts. It sort of remind me plants versus zombies, I don't know. It, it's it's hands, ridiculous no as well. Now we take them back your will we take mine. their lives as well. It is yours, master. So that's one. That's going to be the other one. Just easy. You are made to be cowed by terror. The egg? The gut? How shall we make them bleed? Lady? Slowly. If I make it with three minutes. I will save the guys, right? Slowly. Slowly. Oh, fuck me. Really? I, I must... Queen told us our answers to building an orc army lie within this fortress. If we burn those archers, we can build our army and save these men at the same time. You want to see how much they bleed? Brand, hold E. Ah, I can do this all. So, this one goes first. The Talion really seems overpowered. If he was, 
actually in the middle earth at this age the whole islands would be different there would be no need for Frodo by the way So three out of six. And we take their lives as well. Right. The neck almost have it. And the last one. Ooh. Have this. Activate your brand ashes by what? This is one. No. No. Oh. Eliminate 15 enemies. Alright. Arch is doing good job so far. Oh, those bag of berserkers just killing my dudes. I don't want you killing my dudes. I want you to all die. Six. Sorry, I didn't realize you were one of mine. My bad. Anyway, this was uh, this was interesting mission. One more. Oh, so sorry, buddy. You still will have to die. Or don't you? Um. I think I broke it by branding him because now I don't have those enemies I need to kill. Maybe this one, I guess. What are you doing? No. Still around. Maybe the archer will have to go. Because I don't know. Oh! He's not mine. He was optional. I see. Cool. So, I did the mission. I saved the dudes. And let's see what it results in. The Lady of the Shore sent you to our aid. The Queen warned us to wait until the end of the battle. Then you all spotted I us. I told you, the visions always come to pass. Ah, yes, but I told you not to. Did you have something for me? Uh, Queen Marwyn sent us to find this. That's a crown of Kalabimbo, right? There's a lot of DLC. I don't know. I will be done with this one. I will be playing them. Like there is a DLC where we play as Kalabimbo, and there is one where you hunt beasts. And then there is one where you're just running around hunting captains and such.
Eliminate 20 reinforcements. I can do this. Easily. Fuck you. I like this, by the way. Because I learned how to do a area of effect damage with a killing effect. So stun them, and then you. And then you still steal their souls, literally. There's one more somewhere. Is the one right here, right? No. This is my this is my dude. Oh there is he. Queen of the Char. Success. Alright. It is one thing to kill these Uruk, it is another to make them our followers. It is a gift. We can use the weapon of the enemy against him. I... I like Celebrimbor less and less. He might have been noble elf, he might have been great smith of his age, but... Now he's just creepy, vengeful wraith. So... Um, never mind. I'm going to stop this episode here. And next time, if I just... Look over here. It's 15 out of 20 missions. Not much of other things to do. So I will do as much as I can of the voluntary missions of camera. And I will do these five missions at once in the next episode. Thank you for watching.